क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन ए ट्रेन अप्रोच इस स्टेशन एंड साउंड से हॉर्न ऑफ कांस्टेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी ओके ट्रेन अप्रोचिंग है स्टेशन व्हाट इस इस डॉपलर इफेक्ट डेफिनेटली सो ए पर्सन स्टैंडिंग हियर ओके एंड कांस्टेंट इंटेंसिटी व्हाट इस इंटेंसिटी इंटेंसिटी इस नथिंग बट एनर्जी पर यूनिट एरिया इनटू टाइम ओके एन ऑब्जर्वर वेटिंग एट द स्टेशन डिटेक्ट्स फ्रीक्वेंसी एफ ऑब्जर्व्ड दिस इज योर एफ ऑब्जर्व्ड ही गेट्स ओवर हियर एंड इंटेंसिटी आई ऑब्जर्व्ड ओके व्हाट आर द चेंजेस इफ एनी इन आई ऑब्जर्व्ड एंड एफ ऑब्जर्व एज अ ट्रेन स्लोस डाउन ओके एज द ट्रेन स्लोस डाउन व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस इन देम नाउ इंटेंसिटी एज यू नो इट्स एनर्जी बाय एरिया इनटू टाइम नाउ एज ही स्टार्ट्स साउंडिंग द हॉर्न द एनर्जी डजंट चेंज राइट Energy is always a constant, so energy no changes. So therefore, this increases and increases goes away. So these two could be the right answers. Let us check here. Now F observed. What is F observed? F observed is nothing but F into C divided by C minus V source over here. When the train is approaching towards you, definitely your frequency should increase. Okay, but when it says that as the train approaches, it is slowing down, which means what? This initially maybe. Uh, let us consider an example like this. The observer is standing here. A t equal to five seconds. A t equal to five seconds. Uh, okay. A t equal to five seconds. Uh, do you get some free? Uh, the speed of the train is something like let us say ten meter per second. Ten meter per second. Okay. A t equal to two seconds. Uh, when it is approaching here, the speed of the train is something like around uh, four meter per second. Now you see the velocity is reducing. So at this point, at 10 meter per second, you would have got some observed frequency. Okay, so you would have got F observed is equal to F C divided by C minus 10. You would have got here. Okay, let me call this F1 here. Then F2, that is when the particle, when the rain was at this point, then you would have got an answer equal to F C divided by C minus 4 over here. See, this is now numerator. The denominator is now seen to be decreasing over here. When denominator seen to be decreasing, then what will happen to F2? F2 will increase, right? F2 will increase. So, so F2 will increase. But if you look at this, this is much much lesser. See, denominator is much much lesser as compared to this. As a result of it, the frequency you need to compare between these two frequencies. Okay, definitely frequency is increasing. Okay, but comparing these two, you observe that the frequency decreases here. F2 is lesser than. F2 is lesser than F1, which is F1. The frequency that was observed here is F1. The frequency that you observe here is F2. This frequency is lesser than this frequency. Therefore, the answer should be decreases. F observed observed decreases as the train is coming towards you. So decreases. Where is decreases here? No change and decreases. The answer is E. Okay.